how to request swap time. Okay, the first thing you would do is go in and open up your calendar. On here, we've already done that. Go on to your calendar. Next thing, you're going to select a day that you want to do your swap on. And the person that's requesting swap time is the person that's requesting to be off. So the person that's requesting to be off has to put in the uh, original request. Now, just like uh, vacation time, you can't put in for swap time unless you are 47 hours outside of the date that you want to put in for swap time. But because we he's currently working today, which is the ninth, then he would be uh, eligible to swap on the 12th. So we're going to go to the 12th and uh, put in for swap time. All right, again, do not touch in the red area or the colored area because that's going to only, if I touch it, you'll see that's going to only show you what you are currently working. So get out of that. And I'm going to show you the correct way is to touch in the area that's white up under the 12th. So we hit the 12th. And you'll see the, uh, all the stuff come up to where you can add. You want to go to add. Now you got your, uh, your drop down box. So you drop down and it's going to ask you which one you want to do. So you want to shift swap off. Hit that. It opens up. Now with swap time, unlike sick and vacation time, you can put in all the way down to one hour. So if I want to change this and make it one hour, that's available to me. So it'll let me swap from seven to eight o'clock. Or you can swap for a half a shift, which most people will. Most people want a half a shift, which is zero seven to 1900. And if you touch down here, you see the uh, number automatically changes to 12. Okay, now it's gonna show you everything that has a red asterisk beside it. It's gonna show you it's a required field. So now it wants to know who's your cover person. So at that point, you drop down and open up and we're going to uh, swap with JV and Johnson. So now we're just strolling down to find that uh, individual's name. And this is it. We hit JV and Johnson, and you see his name populating that field. Now you stroll down, and uh, so that's the person that's going to be actually working on that day. So at that point, now we hit in this box, and it's asking us then, do we want to save it? And yes, we want to save it. And you'll see it automatically goes back to your calendar and give you a, a, a asterisk beside your name. Okay, this is how you request uh, swap time. Now we're going to go on and do one to where we show you how to approve, not to approve, but to accept swap time.